I'm funny. Back with a YouTube video. I did get tired by the title. I'm here to talk about Batfield 2042 and Call of Duty 2021. Now, the reason why I'm calling it Call of Duty 2021 is because the official title has not been announced yet uh, for the next Call of Duty. Now, apparently, it's something to do with World War Two. So, we all know how the last Call of Duty went when it was World War Two. It didn't really go to plan. Um, however, it's a different year. The Call of Duty was different now. We'll see how it goes. Now, Battlefield 2042 versus Call of Duty 2021. Um, now, this has always been a battle. Like, in, you know, like in the past, you know, would you, would you like better Battlefield or Call of Duty? Uh, to be honest with you, they're both different games. Uh, they're both first-person shooters. However, the maps and the gameplay are totally, totally different. So, let's talk about Battlefield's maps for first. Now, when Battlefield launches, uh, October the 15th, if you buy like a certain edition, it's going to launch with seven... 128 player maps. That's only on Series X and Series S, by the way. If you're on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, you'll only get 64 players. Now, the next-gen next gen consoles will get 128 players. So that's 64 on each team. That's absolutely huge. That's gigantic. Um, now, it's going to launch with seven maps. Uh, so I'm just hoping the maps are uh, obviously good, for starters. And... Um, let's just hope the, the fit on, like, do you know, like, how some maps, like, where, um, the, the, the too big or the too small, I'm just hoping they're the right size for 120 year players, I'm just hoping they're not too big, you know, where you just walk about, you can't see anybody. Now, what Battlefield have always done is they've always made medium sized maps, uh, they've always made small sized maps, and they've always made big maps. Now, normally, which you probably imagine, most people like the small maps because they like get the kills. Get the XP up. Do you know what I mean? But I'm hoping they make some really big maps as well. But but to fit 120 year players, don't make it too big, where you you, know, you can't see anybody. You just get sniped everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Um, now Battlefield usually don't let down with maps. The maps that they make are breathtaking. The visuals, the graphics, everything. The, 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 so I'm just hoping Battlefield don't let this down when it comes to the maps this year. Now Call of Duty. Now Call of Duty the same. They make small maps, medium sized maps, and sometimes big maps. Now, Call of Duty recently, unfortunately, um, when it comes to maps, they haven't been they haven't been ten out of ten. Now, the DLC on Cold War, the maps have been okay. I mean, I like Yamantau. Um, I like Apocalypse. I think I call it Apocalypse. That that's all right. Um, but really, on Cold War, most of the DLC when it comes to multiplayer is DLC from the past. So, for example. This year we got hijacked. Uh, this season we got hijacked, sorry, which I don't mind. Hijacked, I love hijacked. The season before we got standoff, which is also a very good map. I mean, I don't mind them bringing back these old old DLC maps. I really don't, because I love them. But it'd be also good if they made like another two or three new ones to go alongside of it. Do you know what I mean? They're only bringing out two maps. Two, I think it's two or three maps every season. Where realistically they should bring about four or five. You know, keep the game alive. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I love, I love hijacked. I love hijacked. So I'm hoping this uh, the next card you're coming out, the maps um, will be you know you know good more or less. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Now the gameplay is it's it's, it's different a lot different compared to Call of Duty and Battlefield. Now Call of Duty you shoot somebody and you kill them. Battlefield you need to time your shots. So say if someone's running there, you have what you have to do is you have to aim in front of them. So you can't exactly aim at them and shoot them. Because the, there's like a big massive bullet drop. So the gameplay is a lot, lot more realistic on Battlefield. Obviously to Call of Duty. Um, now you're probably wondering what gameplay do I prefer? Um, I like both. But obviously Call of Duty Battlefield is more better because it's obviously more realistic. However, it's really hard to get used to Battlefield. Because the guns, the guns have got a lot of recoil on them. Uh, on Battlefield compared to Call of Duty. So you will have to get used to the guns, honestly. It's really... it's It sound uh, When you look at it, you think, oh, that's easy to do that. It's not. It takes ages to get used to. Uh, so the Battlefield gameplay and the Call of Duty gameplay is a lot different. Now, the DLC. Now, uh, recently, uh, Call of Duty, over the last couple of years, uh, the DLC is free. So you get all the maps free, you get the zombies maps free, you get everything free. However, they have a Battle Pass. Uh, now, the Battle Pass, if you buy it once you earn enough COD points to buy the next Battle Pass for free. Which is a good way of doing it. 
Um, so I'm hoping this is how Battlefield goes. I hope Battlefield don't charge for a season pass every year. Um, because that would be definitely advantage Call of Duty in that way. You know what I mean? So I'm just hoping Battlefield follow COD steps and only do battle passes and make all the DLC free so everybody can play the maps, everybody be happy. That's what I'm hoping they do anyway. We'll soon see. Um, so, you're probably asking Anthony, what what one are you looking forward to mostly? Battlefield 2042. You're probably wondering why. Uh, now, Call of Duty, I'm not really hyped about it because it's going to be probably World War Two. And we all know how the last one went, like I said before. It didn't go really to plan. Um, Battlefield 2042 is doing something new. They're doing one in the future. But I think this is, one, this is probably the first Battlefield that's in the future. Um, so that's going to be definitely, definitely interesting. Now, the gameplay, uh, the trailer, should I say. They always get, Battlefield always get the trailer spot on. They always get you, like, you know, to fully, you know, to get fully interested in it. Uh, they did show gameplay at Xbox Briefing. The gameplay did look good. And we're going to learn more on July the 22nd. So I'm definitely looking forward more to Battlefield 2042. I'm also interested to see what Call of Duty do as well. Um, regarding, like, obviously, is it going to be a campaign? What's the multiplayer going to be like? Is it going to be different? Who knows? We can only wait and see. Uh, but as, as soon as we get official word that when the next Call of Duty is called, I'll make a video on it, what's being announced, all that good stuff. So it's an exciting time, guys. Um, I think we'll probably get a bit of time, by the way, a bit of date on July next uh, next month for the uh, Battlefield beta. I think the beta is going to be sometime in early August because it comes out in October. And obviously, if there's any bugs, they'll want to fix it straight away for the release. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. Hope you are as well. I'm excited. It's an exciting time to be a gamer. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. Um, leave a comment below what you're most looking forward to, Call of Duty or Battlefield. Please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification button as well. Uh, I apologise for no video yesterday, by the way. I wasn't feeling too good. So I skipped yesterday. But I'm back today. Thank you for watching. Take care. Don't forget, if you're new, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.